my pleasure being here today and welcoming you to Scientix conference. And it's also my pleasure to welcome you and to tell you more about one of the uh, European School Nets initiatives that works closely with industry partners, the STEM Alliance. The idea for STEM Alliance was born out of the need to connect to sectors, private and public. And our main areas of work are developing teachers by providing them uh, teacher uh, training possibilities and also uh, know-how from the industry members. Also, we are helping industry partners develop and deliver training materials to the teachers. You often hear that it's very important to bridge the gap between two sectors. Why is it so important? Well, if you take a look at the job market, you will see a great mismatch of, uh, of supply and demand. And we know that uh, interest in STEM is not as high as we and, and the market needs it to be. And one of the reasons for that is also, also the uh, prejudices, the, the gender gap, and also the idea that some pr professions are only restrictively saved for boys, while girls are not encouraged to, in, to engage in those professions. Apart from that, we know that over 40% of EU population lacks digital skills and teachers are not comfortable with innovations. And we can understand that with all the changes. And it all affects the job market where new jobs are emerging and with that new skills. It is also affecting a lot the job landscape. And with current employees, we see that the reskilling is needed. Uh, the jobs has, have changed within last years and they will change even more. And uh, we need to address this. Well, how can industry, industry help? There are so many ways industry can help and can help addressing these questions and also securing STEM professionals for the future. So apart from addressing gender parity, there are strong female role models coming from industry. We can also provide a strong voice when it comes to promoting these careers. Uh, apart from that, industry is the one supporting teachers by creating amazing uh, materials for their training. But not only that, not only they are providing it and preparing, they're also training the trainers, making sure the teachers are, uh, are happy to use them and ready to use them in their classrooms. Well, 23 of such industries that are ready to tackle the, the, the challenges of STEM education are joined in one network, the STEM Alliance. You can see that uh, our members come from different sectors, and we support not only ed tech companies with their new innovations and their solutions that they bring to the classrooms, but also industries from different sectors who are also uh, trying to create a better future for us and who want to share their engagement in sustainability, inclusiveness and diversity. Uh, well, I want to tell you more about STEM Alliance and how is that that we provide our services. So what you can see now are seven key actions. And this is, in a way, a guideline for us. Today, I will not have time to present all of them to you, but I'll try to give you a brief overview of what is it that we did recently. So when it comes to professional development for teachers, we developed many webinars we organized with our partners. Apart from tackling ed tech innovations and also burning needs like hybrid classroom, we also talked about STEM careers and also people who not necessarily come from STEM background, but they work in STEM environment and they have a great support from their new teams. We also organize MOOCs, massive open online courses, where teachers are encouraged to do the peer, peer learning. They have the ability to create valuable res resources that they can use after. So when it, I also want to tell you that we also are very, very focused on our campaigns. We have two campaigns, one in the spring and one in the fall. Our uh, fall campaign has just ended, back to school campaign, and we are very happy for the upcoming STEM discovery campaign planned for to start on February 1st, 2023. This initiative is not only inviting people and from, from Europe, not only teachers, schools, innovators, and researchers from Europe, but it is really something that goes worldwide. And every year, STEM discovery campaign is supported by a number of organizations. And uh, I can tell you that this year we had over 30 partners when it comes to industry partners who were also supporting STEM discovery campaign. 
We also organize competitions within the campaigns and our partners make sure that they reward the teachers who bring innovations in the classrooms. For all of you teachers watching us today, please note that we still have one competition ongoing. So if you take a look at the link you will see in the chat box now, please follow it, learn more about GSMA, about M schools and amazing modules they prepared for you. There is still some time and you can win a really good award. You can win a voucher for 500 euros that you can use for the professional development of your own choice. Uh, also, did you maybe know that there is over a 20 years of experience when it comes to EUN and validation pilots? During this three-step process, we develop new materials, we test, and we validate it and share through our networks. And one of these examples is also something we did with our partner, the Airbus Foundation, in previous years. We cannot talk about collaboration, one of our main uh, topics, without mentioning Scientix. Together with Scientix and also other project like, projects like Steemit, we have developed a really, really important resources that teachers can find in Scientix Observatory and also in the repository of STEM job profiles. With this, we bring edtech solutions and careers closer by securing resources and also making sure that messages from our industry partners are heard also to, by teachers and policymakers. This year, Scientix has also organized uh, many uh, events and among them, STNS, Science Topics Networking Seminars. And during those sessions, closed sessions, we had uh, our partners, industry partners of STEM Alliance present. They were talking about challenges, opportunities, new ideas, and they were setting the scene for these STEM education challenges we are facing. So based on their uh, expertise and know-how, we had uh, Elias Robert and Nordblok talking us about, telling us more about STEM female models. We had uh, Train Technologies and the Foundation for Transport telling us more about how important it is, it is for us to go green and to look after sustainability issues. We had Key to Enable telling us more about inclusivity, Dartev telling us more about uh, STEM goes digital, and when it comes to innovation, we had Microsoft and Lenovo. Also with our partner Lenovo, we organized this year a really interesting workshop on ESG issues. Here we had Scientix ambassadors from nine countries and it was very interesting to hear their views and their suggestions. When, when it comes to online events, I don't know if there is anyone who has not heard about Scientix TV. And today I will just like to show you a trailer on our industry members and insights they shared with us in previous episodes. Just in time for the new episode of Scientix TV. Industry partners play an essential role. Connecting classroom with real life jobs. We actually want to remind teachers that there is another source of support out there, and that's industry. IBM is organizing a competition in collaboration with the STEM Alliance. What do you think, well, why is it so important to motivate teachers and support them to try out new things? Dana, motivation is really important because it is the key to keep uh, teachers focused, to inspire them, to help them feel worthy, motivated teachers, develop a positive climate, and that's critical to an effective learning environment. Back to your core question, really, what is a lab exchange? And at the highest level, it's a high quality, curated and free science education platform. Our experience is that teachers are lifelong learners. They're always thinking about how can they make the student learning experience the best that it can be. Lab exchange is built with this concept of how do we test and elevate hybrid or blended education for this? How do teachers complement what they're already doing in the classroom? with what the platform offers. Albert, talking about the jobs, jobs that we have today did not even exist 10 or 15 years ago. Yeah, it's true. A lot of these skills are new, and it's amazing to see how teachers such as Stella are, are bringing them into the classroom. 
Uh, these skills that are in very high demand, they have a lot to do with how we use our minds in, in sort of creative and analytical ways. Um, you know, how we apply our intellect to solve complex problems, but also um, how we find powerful ways to work with others or use social skills um, to lead uh, multidisciplinary teams. Elliot, can you tell us something about immersive technology and what value does it add for teachers and students in primary and secondary schools? Passive learning, such as reading a book or listening to a lecture, they deliver marginal results for most children. But to really learn, understand, and demonstrate mastery in more abstract concepts across STEM subjects, this is where hands-on simulations deliver substantially better results. When teachers consider how best to implement AR and VR in their classrooms and their curriculum, they should think about both how to learn and use the technology, but also how the lessons will be integrated uh, best into their learning outcomes. Teaching with immersive technology can be amazing and engaging, transformative experience. Train Technologies is one of the major players in cooling and heating industry with tens of thousands of employees. Deidre, why is sustainability so important to your company? Communities and corporations everywhere in the world are inextricably linked to one another. So it's critical for us to take bold leadership in helping to evolve, to solve the climate crisis. We established the first science-based climate commitments and in 2018, we exceeded them two years early. This year, we strengthened those commitments with a new goal to reach net zero greenhouse gas emissions across our entire value chain by 2050.